Three Mississippi guys, Jarvis, you know, uh, AK says that he's playing Mississippi State, y'all can't put too much emphasis on But as a player, do you put any emphasis on playing Mississippi State being it's the rivalry? Do you see the turnout out for this game in particular? Uh, I really, I do. I like to get my ladder down. I can play every round of time and give them my all and try to help my team win. How do you feel the energy was tonight in the building and with you guys overall? The crowd was great. They came out there. It was disappointing. It was like I hit your boots. Those guys got a lot of dribble penetration against you guys in Starkville two weeks ago. What was the difference today? They didn't get to the free throw line nearly as much. Um, I say it was just buying in with Coach Sam the team and like it was no odd person to live. No who was driving and shooting and just follow the game plan. Sebastian had six offensive rebounds, AJ had three. A lot of second chance points, keep the offensive possessions going. It's something you guys have been doing a lot better lately. How much has that helped? Uh, it helped us a lot. It gave us extra chances to uh, put points on the board and, you know, to make a lot of position and stuff. So uh, they just work hard at what they do. Um, I thank you for that. You have one four straight. I mean, the conference level has to be pretty high. What, what's the collective mindset of the team right now? It's just staying forward. We're going to start from us, us leaders. And we just got to keep working every day. And, to reach our goal with this one another championship. Jarvis, does Andy talk to you guys about an opponent's RPI and that sort of thing, numbers like that when y'all go on the road? Uh, not really. He just tells us just, just play the game. Let the game come to you and just do what you do. Play the same play. Are you guys aware of that sort of thing with uh, a team like Tennessee coming up? Not really. We feel like we can uh, play with anybody. We put our mind to it and everybody just, um, you know, take practice and take these games like it's our legs and Okay. How much does losing Martavius hurt? It don't hurt us a lot because he's like that, that energy guy like to bring on, on the defense and it just bring that toughness to our team. Andy was saying that there's really not another guy like him. How, how do you go about replacing him? Some of the guys that are not really playing big men are going to step up and fill their roles. And, um, us leaders, um, upper class, we might have to um, knock our game up a notch. How much do you guys not feed off? Marshall's energy, you know, not only when he's scoring, but when he's getting steals and dunks and blocking shots and, and all that stuff. Just a lot, like he just bring that, that like like the crowd do with the um extra um support and it's just like his energy it just boosts us and make us want to go hard. You were talking about you know kicking it up a notch, you know, replacing Ruby. You know, with, with Perez and, and Saez, have you noticed those two guys specifically in the past two weeks have kind of taken a step? It seems like yeah, they've been working real hard. In, um, I just keep telling them every day, just keep doing what they're doing and, and keep their head right and everything takes place. Anything else?